guys, how are you today? We are here with another, the last, I shouldn't say another, my last video for my year 2017 for the year. With I'm here with the, my December video. Um, as with last month where I only made the one video and the book review and then we did like one online chit chat, we're gonna keep it light this week too because it's, a hol it's the holidays this month. Um, and right now as I'm filming this, I don't know what month I had. Last month I had, literally I had Thanksgiving week, so glad I kept it light. Um, <laughs> I probably don't have Christmas week this month, but you never know. Um, and I haven't looked yet, so to be honest. Um, so we're gonna keep it really light and we're gonna do a little chit chat. This month the prompt is wrap it up and let's celebrate, yeah? So you can of course do this a number of different ways. You could do it literally and uh, th or think of it literally uh, wrapping up the year. Let's celebrate our year. You could do of course the standard resolutions list. I just went through some of my Jane Davenport washi tapes and stickers and I found a few I thought were relevant that would work well. Creativity equals joy. That really for me kind of in a way sums up the year. For me that's totally true. Um, paint till you faint. Don't you just love that? Um, let's see. Trust the mess and let your imagination flow. Painting, dreaming, learning. And I'm learning to fly. So I just kept it positive. That's what I really wanted. I do want to again do another like little illustration tutorial with you all this month in uh, my signature. Um, we're going to do a book review list at this moment, right this second. I don't know exactly which book I'm reviewing, but I'll go look at look one up. And I decorated my signatures with some more of the Jane Tavenport washi tapes and stickers. I put a little post-it note that said things to do. Um, you know, it's December. There's always like a million things to do before you head off to your mom's house, right, for the holidays. So. Um, I want to leave lots of blank space because there's always a ton of stuff to do and I'm going to put a little piece of washi tape there because it's lifting. Um, uh, you know, and that's to be expected. It's the holidays and there's always a bunch of stuff to do. Um, it's going to bug me. I'm going to wrap it around the corner. There we go. So uh, it doesn't hurt to have a little... Um, a place to keep a track of the things you have to do. I may keep it funny and you know write funny things to do. Um, we'll see. I don't know how it'll. We'll see how the month goes. <laughs> but let's do. Maybe we should just do it right on the cover, on the front. Yeah, let's just do it right on the front like we did last month where we did our, here's last month, so where we did our pumpkin stack, yeah. So this month we're going to um, celebrate, we're going to wrap up the year. Um, let's picture a gift, reading glasses on, that'd be helpful, okay. Let's picture a box, you remember from school when you were first learning in art class how to draw in perspective? to give things sort of a two-dimensional or three-dimensional shape. So if it was a box, that'd be one side. Let me zoom in so you can actually see what I'm doing because I think I'm a little far away. There we go. So we drew a square. And if it's angled the right way, then I'm not going to see this side, but I'll see this side. It's going to be up, angled up, and this will be the same angle. Don't make it too long. And then draw a line down. And then for the top, you want this angle to be at least similar to that one. As with the pumpkins, just keep it loose and sketchy. And that way if you get it, you know, a little bit off, it'll be okay. Just adjust it, go with the flow, right? Now if there were a ribbon on the box, it would be angled on the top and then go straight down. And then we'll draw another ribbon going across the top and down the side. It would appear a little bit thinner, 
across the top and down the side because that's farther away from you. This front part is closer to you. I think I'm going to just, I'm going to put a little dot there and a string. I'm going to put a little tag. Okay. You could put a bow on the top. This part's the inside of the ribbon, the bow, so I'm going to shade it. And that also high, um, disguises some of the lines, yeah. So that's pretty good, right? So I'm going to give some, you know, kind of details to the ribbon. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Okay, just use some of your gel highlighter crayons if you have them. Something I like these because they're transparent. I'm gonna take my white gel pen first which won't show up as well on here as it does on the pages that I've done in the craft cardstock because this is more of a manila color, but that's okay. I want to put the gel pen on first because it won't write over the gel highlighter. Now inside the box, you could make a bigger, bo bigger box and inside the box you could write all the different things this year that you want to celebrate. Um, the improvements in yourself that you've made or in your art that you've made, the connections with people that you've made. Um, you can just, you know, if you're doing like I am and you're sharing it on YouTube and Facebook, you can keep it empty. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do it in pink. I don't know, I just want to. And it's not about coloring the whole thing. Okay. Up here at the top, I'm going to, let's see. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna write something. I think I'm actually gonna frame it first. Am I gonna frame? I think so, yeah. So up here at the top, we're gonna go around a couple times. Then in the corner right here, So that's like a ribbon surrounding something with a bow and a gift tag, right? I'm going to write art on the tag. And on this tag down here, I think I'm going to write dream. Yep. So in this square up here, what are the things that you want to celebrate this year? The steps forward in your life's path that you've made. Um, the uh, improvements that you've made in yourself, in your environment, in your health, in your management of your issues, in your whatever it is, whatever it is. Think of the positives, not the negatives, right? And I want you to put those in this box up here. So for me, let's see. Connections, I'm so grateful for the connections I've made this, this year. I've improved my technique on some things this year, so I want to celebrate that. I 
think that's the right way to spell that. It might be wrong. <laughs> I don't know. It's there forever now if it's wrong. Okay, let's see. Um, I want to celebrate family. Family is always important to celebrate. Love. That's also important. to celebrate the fact that y'all inspire me so much especially those of you who are dealing with serious chronic issues um, improvements is a good word it's a good word it covers a lot of things for me art health lots of things celebrate my life's path. I think it's a good path. I'm real happy with it. I'm pretty content. These are all things that apply to me. Your words might, well, they'll probably be a lot different. I love that. Let's celebrate the year's journey with gratitude and light. I look forward to a new adventure. So I want you all, let me zoom out so you can get a picture of the whole thing. I want you all to think about just create, do some journaling, do some doodling, do some art if you will, and that's what you're inspired to do in your journals over the holiday. If you have something small like this, you can take it with you. You just, you really only need a couple, a couple of things, right? Have some fun with it. Express yourself. Be yourself. Be true to who you are. And I look forward to seeing you all in the new year, in the new group, on our new adventure. Have a happy holiday, everyone. I will be back with a book review. If you're not a member of My Year 2017 or the new group going forward, My Creative Year, they were both the links for both are in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube, along with links to every place that I am on the internet. There's a, there's a link there that says Linktree slash Gina B. Aarons. If you click on that, you're going to find every single place I am all over the internet. Um, my happy mail address is down there and a bunch of stuff. So check it out. Have a happy holidays. And above all, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.